welcome back for review number three. Praise Dale. Today we are looking at one of my favorite fucking shmups, Border Down. More or less not just favorite shmup, but favorite games of all time. When I look at stuff in my collection, this one always jumps out to me. I keep this kind of close at all times. It is a horizontal scrolling shmup, visually one of the best fucking things you'll ever see. Best released in the genre. This is on the pedestal. This is a summit girl. This deserves being put in the same sentence as Radiant Silver Gun, Einhander, or if you're weird like me, a Hillary Swank kind of girl. First game developed and published by G-Rev in-house was released on the Naomi hardware to arcades March 25th, 2003 and the Dreamcast the same year, September 25th, 2003 in Japan only. Border Down was inspired by Taito's Metal Black. Hiroyuki Maruyama founded G-Rev with ex-Taito employees to develop a shooter of his own. Along with Border Down, G-Rev worked on Ikaruga, Gradius V, as you've seen before, along with other releases like Under... Defeat. Due to lack of funds, though, Border Down was not fully realized like planned, but it was still successful, and today is still a name that makes your eyes perk up, and like me, your wallet really fucking hurt. As for a story, this takes place in a futuristic setting, where humans colonize Mars, and the aliens are all like, nah, fuck you, we're gonna fight your ass for it. But just like the LeBaron, there's only one of them, and there can only be one number one son. And it's not you, Freddy. Where's your fucking LeBaron, Freddy? I don't see two LeBarons. I only see one Freddy. So anyway, you control the Wasp, which is an unmanned ship. So you have no fear of dying against these crazy kaiju-looking boss things. Now we need to talk about the border system. The three borders of varying difficulty. Kind of like if you go with the 10 right away. Seven and fours are still available. Rather than go for the four right away and get rejected, then you're left playing that D-pad all night until you black out. As you change borders, the enemies and the background change, kind of like going after a different ethnicity as you slide around that fucking scale a little bit. Now it's time to talk about weapons, as your main weapon can be used as a continuous fire or a homing style as seen in this level ahead by tapping it. But the second weapon is a badass fucking laser attack that fucks shit up. As you can see here, used to absorb enemy fire, but be sure to conserve it as you don't want to run out of juice mid-boss battle, or you're going to lose your chub with that guapa you snagged on Taco Tuesday last week. It's definitely key to learn the mechanics and memorize the levels as best you can here. You need to be in the right positions at the right time or you get boxed in by the small enemy fire. The hitbox is pretty small on the Wasp, as I was surprised many times not dying, but trust me, there are plenty of cheap fucking deaths in this, colliding with fucking stray enemies or objects as you move around not really sure you got to avoid the background shit the controls are nice and crisp but the feel of the dreamcast d-pad kind of sucks personally and the speed control can be adjusted but you really just wind up using the the second one the most of the time because you're either too slow and get hit or you're too fast and you just fucking crash into anything and i practice quite a bit for this game the morning of i don't usually get to play too much so you don't always get to see me at my best. Maybe I'm good, I'm not sure. As a game though, this checks all the boxes. It gives me that fizzing sensation right in the fucking wiener. But unfortunately, you're not getting to see this in HD because I had a hard time getting the Dreamcast to capture with the pound connector I think I was using on the Elgato. So that just wasn't working. You're kind of seeing this as you would normally see a Dreamcast, maybe on an older TV. It still looks pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fucking sharp. So, you know, fucking deal with it, okay? Visually and almost all around this game is fucking incredible. For its time, it stands out in the crowd. It pushes the Dreamcast, not too, too much, but it slows down a little bit. It's not like Under Defeat bad where the game almost looks like you hit pause. The ship is fucking badass looking. It kinda looks like one of the Darius ships, but maybe that's why I like it so much because I love that franchise as well. The backgrounds are fucking awesome looking. They're like, what? That I love to look for in a shmup that just makes it look very modern just doesn't compare to almost anything else and the fucking boss lasers I fucking love lasers 
a shmup is almost judged to me on how much the boss lasers fill up the screen and force you into a fucking tiny little corner like Pippi Longstocking or whatever Harry Potter when he gets shoved in that little coat closet down at the bottom there. To me, you could almost say they're the same fucking movie because I only saw the first five minutes of both of them. And also, just like thinking of Emma Watson, that also only lasted five minutes or seconds. The price point, though, total boner kill as it is pushing three bills right now, but it could be worse and some of the special editions go for way more. So if you have to take this, still worth it. If you love the genre, it's a must. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, some bitch named Samara is probably going to come after you in about a week from now. So sorry about that. Um, hopefully new videos in two weeks. That's when that mesothelioma settlement is going to end up. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little titty button, and uh, check out my Discord for those X-rated photos you've been asking for. I've been the Game Bro. Later. And now a word from our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club Essential Kit for the low, low price of $26. What do you get, you ask? All right, don't fuck this up. So you get the, the handle, the all-in-one handle. You get six blades with five fucking blades on each one. You get the buttery smooth cream. And you get the cover so it doesn't get all gross when you're done shaving your nutsack. So sign up now with promo code GAMEBRO. Woo! Fucking nailed it! They said it's not a game, you niggas, money! <laughs>